Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So as you can probably tell I'm back home. Um, I'm sure as everyone else my university has moved online due to coronavirus. Um, so I came back home so that I could be with my mum instead of being stuck in Cardiff by myself as all my housemates moved out. Yeah and also I have underlying health conditions so if I get ill I'll probably have to be hospitalised so we're trying to avoid that. Anyway I thought that today I would do a day in the life of studying in self-isolation because I have online seminars well no I have like online lecture today but it's not like a live one so I'm gonna go and print the stuff for that because I need to read some stuff because um for some reason it just wasn't loading on learning central which is like the internet system we use I'm gonna go and print that so far I mean it's not the morning anymore it's half 12 but I got out of bed at 10 30 and then I realized that because we're stuck inside um, that I won't be like walking anywhere so I won't be getting any exercise whatsoever um, so I downloaded Grace Fitz oh her name I don't think she goes by Grace Fitz anymore Grace Beverly's um, Shreddy app the home one and I did that this morning um, and I'm struggling to keep my arm up because it was an arm workout so I guess it worked because my arm feels a bit dead anyway I'm gonna go and print those things and then kind of read them and then listen to my lecture and make some notes and then do some more reading on one of my other lectures essays and I still need to pick an essay question for this lecture today today's romantic poetry yeah that is the plan I just thought I might as well show you what I'm doing in self-isolation also yeah, I'm gonna avoid showing you most of my house because it's messy because obviously I moved all of my stuff back from uni luckily my dad came and picked up some of the stuff so that's with him at my grandparents house um like the stuff I don't need like my cooking and bedding because obviously we have that here but I still have a lot of stuff and there's not really room for it in my room because I was planning on like my essays were June on the 8th of May which like fingers crossed they're gonna change that I think there was cat in my garden um fingers crossed they're gonna change that and they'll be due in later because there's just been so much upheaval this semester with strikes and stuff um but anyway that was gonna give me like well over a month left on my house contract in Cardiff so I was gonna come back home and kind of sort out my room here and get rid of like a load of stuff that I don't actually want to make room for the stuff from uni clearly that's not happened I've brought all of it home so that's gonna be difficult to do but I'm not gonna focus on that until I've done my essays and stuff excuse the fact that I look a bit rubbish I'm not leaving the house so I'm not putting any makeup on is my plan basically but yeah I'm gonna go and print those and then I'll be back with you when I'm doing some actual work Hey guys, so it's now almost um, three. I went and printed off um, my reading for this lecture. I thought the lecture was going to be up so much earlier. I thought it would be up at one, which is when our lecture time is, but it's just been put up. Um, so that is what I'm doing now. Um, this lecturer just puts it on the PowerPoint and then she voiceovers it. So I'm just kind of listening to that. Um, That's my romantic poetry one. Um, I think this week is about Felicia Hemans. I don't really know how you say her name but she's a female romantic author which I don't think I've necessarily studied before if I can yeah I don't think so so it should be interesting um yeah I also whilst I was waiting for it to come up online I got my guitar out I've decided that I'm going to try and learn to play guitar again because I'm stuck inside the house and I literally haven't touched my guitar since being at uni, which is really sad because I spent money on it when I was like 16 and I do love it. I just haven't had the time and I also haven't had the space at uni to take it with me. I mean, I had space in my room this year, but I just didn't have space in my car. Yeah, so I'm doing this lecture and I think I'm going to do some more reading for my other English module. I'm writing my um, essay for that module on... Twilight and Fifty Shades and Catcher in the Rye, um, which is a really odd combination. Catcher in the Rye and those two, the other two link together pretty well. Um, but the like extra reading that I found for it is actually really interesting. I've learned so much stuff, like I didn't even realise that if you make a fanfic, you can't necessarily publish it with the same like names and characters and world in, because any derivative works of a book, for example, are protected by copyright they technically belong to the original author which is really interesting i guess i'd never really like explored fanfics in terms of fanfics of other like literature beforehand because i was in the 1d fandom when i was younger well i guess i still am um so when i was like 13 14 i'd be reading like one direction fanfics which obviously i don't think that work belongs to one direction 
I mean, I guess in After she changed the names, didn't she? I haven't read that, but I'm kind of intrigued to read it now that I'm kind of learning about fan fiction. So, um, yeah. I've also finished reading Animal Farm because Lit Sock are doing... We're going to do online socials as such. So we're going to run a book club every Sunday. Yeah, Animals Die in it, which is why I didn't really want to read it. It's why I'd never read it before. But oh well. Um, it wasn't actually very emotional because it's kind of about like communism turning into a dictatorship. So I need to think about that and think of questions we can use. Um, and then I guess I'm back onto my normal reading. I'm on the fifth Harry Potter book now, I've downloaded it. I'm up to 20 books read for the year so far, which I'm, I'm happy with. We're not at the end of the third month and I set myself, um, 50 books. So if I keep that up, Goodreads tell me, Goodreads tells me I only need to read half a book a week now to um like keep on track 50 but like if i can read like i should be done by july the end of july with 50 like maybe i can get it to like 80 maybe i don't know i'm not making any promises because i don't know but anyway that's what i'm doing romantic poetry lecture online i'm not a fan of this online learning i'm so glad that this isn't a thing that is like commonplace um Obviously, it's the best in a bad situation. But yeah, I'll be back with you later. Probably when I'm reading stuff about Fifty Shades. So I've just finished my lecture. It's almost five and I started at like three. And to be fair, I wasn't like entirely engaged with it. But my lecturers, bless them, are making longer lectures than we have in person. But also... They're uploading them super late, so actually I don't have the time for them to be super long. Anyway, I've got to decide what I want to do now. Um, I could read, I've got this pile of papers to read for um, my essay, so I guess I should probably read those. Yeah, I guess I should probably read those. I might take like a 10 minute break though and watch some YouTube or something. So it's now um, Thursday and I, it's almost 12, I've had a bit of a slow morning. I have been in the mornings doing the um, Shreddy at home app, but I decided that my muscles ate too much from the previous three days. So I've shifted the next two workouts like back two days. So you're meant to have the weekend off. But actually, I feel like having two separate days of recovery would be better for me. I don't know if this is even going to load. Anyway, that's what I've been doing, but yeah, um, brilliant. I'd rigged this up so that I, uh, wasn't getting heated by the sun. Oh well, I'll have to do that again. Anyway, yeah, I was meant to do full body hit today, um, but I've moved that to tomorrow and then moved arms and abs to Saturday and then I'll have Sunday off, um, because I think that works a bit better for me. Anyway, um, I have a live lecture in an hour. Um, it's the only lecture that we have that's like live that's on like the university website um, and we can like chat and stuff on it it's a seminar um, but I thought I'd finish up my reading for my scandal and outrage essay I've just got these two things left to read um, and then I think I've probably read enough for it and I've got enough like external quotes for it and then once I've done that that lecture is trying to get us a two week extension so I'm going to park that because I think he will manage to and then I'm going to look at my romantic poetry one. And also the seminar today for philosophy is for animal minds. And they're, um, she's going to be showing us... I'm not even logged in. She's going to be... Um, it's an essay workshop thing. Um, so I should be able to start writing that essay too soon. Um, like everyone else in the world, I've got Disney Plus again. I had it when I was in America. But obviously it only just launched over here. I'm just trying to decide what to watch. Because I was watching... Wizards of Waverly Place in America. What's really good is it's actually like saved what I was watching over there. Like it's the same account. I'm just now paying in pounds instead of dollars, which is brilliant. But I'm not sure if I want to watch um, Wizards of Waverly Place today. I'm thinking maybe I'll watch like a film. There's quite a lot of films like I haven't seen. Like I've actually never seen Frozen or Moana. I don't really know if I'll like them though because I'm not like the biggest fan of um, animated movies. I'm into like ones from when I was a kid so like yeah like Finding Dory that was a good sequel and stuff. I might try and find some of the live action ones actually because I haven't seen any of those because there was like a Beauty and the Beast one wasn't there. Okay that didn't really quite come up with what I wanted. 
Disney fairy tale weddings, interesting. Don't know what any of those are. Let's go in this collection because I think they're all. Is this the new Aladdin? I think that is the new Aladdin. They look like actual people. Maybe I'll watch that. Yeah, that is the new Aladdin. Oh, I might watch Cinderella because I actually um, I love Lily James and I haven't seen it. Okay, that's what I'm going to be watching whilst I do my reading. Um, and I need to keep an eye on the time so I don't miss my lecture. But that is what I'm doing and I will catch up with you in a bit. So I finished doing my online lecture for the day. So I think next I'm going to organize my folders because it's something I haven't done in quite a few weeks. And there's like a ton of paper in here that just needs to be filed so I know where everything is. Um, also, uh, thank God we've started getting emails saying that we're getting two week extensions on like all of our essays, which is fantastic because obviously um, we haven't at Cardiff well, in my school, at least in NCAP, we haven't only been affected by the COVID outbreak and being everything being online. We've also been affected by the strikes. Our university was one of the ones that's, that did strikes. And a lot of my English lecturers happened to be in UCU, so they striked. Um, one of my lecturers also was ill for two weeks. So I've literally had two weeks of face-to-face -face teaching for one of my modules and maybe three weeks for the other one. Um, my philosophy lecturer luckily wasn't in UCU so she has been doing lectures but that's the only one I've had consistently but it just means that I've got until like midway like over midway through May to do my essays now which is amazing so the pressure's off a bit it's like eight weeks instead of six weeks to get them done um so I'm going to sort my folders out and then I think I'm going to start deciding which poets I want to write on for my romantic poetry but that is the plan for the rest of today um I finished watching Cinderella while I had lunch. I've got to film what I had for lunch. Let's just have pasta and ketchup and cheese. Um, I love ketchup. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's yummy, trust me. Um, yeah, and I finished watching Cinderella, so I think I'm going to sort my folders, maybe put on Wizards of Waverly Place, or maybe some YouTube stuff. I don't know. I can't decide. Anyway, that's my plan. So I'm now about to sort out my folders. I've decided I'm going to separate it into... Um, class work for each one and then essay work for each one um that's just my philosophy pile at the moment got my folders somewhere i have my hole punch up here stapler and then sort out this guy as well so that is what i'm doing I'm looking at the list of like the poets that we've studied this semester and then I'm going to write them down and then have a look at the like poems we studied for them and decide what I want to write on. Hey guys, so it's now Friday, it's like about lunchtime. I this morning have done my shreddy workout which was just um, a 12 minute one because it was a hit one and then what else have I done? Oh, I've altered our Tesco um, delivery that's coming next week. Um, for like the stuff that we need to make meals and now I'm about to start doing research for my romantic poetry essay and um, thankfully our lecturers emailed us today and we've got a two week extension on all of our essays which is amazing so I'm slightly less stressed so that's what I'm up to now also Ella sent me in the post the um, bookmarks that would have been for our ball which was meant to happen yesterday on Thursday the 26th um but obviously it didn't happen but yeah I like bookmarks it was like Grimm's fairy tale themed would have been cute but oh well these things happen um but yeah we've made bookmarks for everyone so I've got a fair handful I've already given one to mum and I'll give some to my friends as well but yeah um, I'm about to start looking for what I'm going to do. I'm also listening to, I've just paused it, 
Virginia Woolf's to the lighthouse. Um, this isn't actually, uh, I don't really understand, I think it's in three sections this book, so this isn't actually the third chapter. Um, it's like the third chapter in the last section of the book, if that makes sense. Um, but I'll get back to you once I've done some of my research for my essay and tell you how I'm getting on. So I just made myself some lunch. I've got some mozzarella, some cream crackers, some um, extra virgin oil hummus, and coleslaw. So it's a bit late now, it's um, six o'clock and I'm just printing off some of the stuff I found for my essay. If I'm honest, I'm like finding it difficult to find stuff for my essay because I'm doing like poets that there don't seem to be that much on in the topic that I'm doing. But that was one of the things that they've said to us is that um, they don't expect us to have like as good of research as normal. So I think I'm going to focus more so on the analysing part of um of my essay um, but I'm just printing out I think I managed to find seven articles so I'm just printing those out now also my camera battery is flashing at me so I'm going to turn this off now that is what I'm doing so it's now Saturday and I'm going to finish this video here because um well it's Saturday I am um, I'm just doing some more research for one of my essays but yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of like a rough week in my life in um distance learning for uni and I'll see you in my next video.